people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there, I'm DJ, and this is War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the news this week. Now, there was a Justin and Hiroki video, if you want to get the big, like, full-on deets, you should definitely watch that. I am going to go over my opinions and my takes on the news here, and hopefully, uh, you guys, you know, you enjoy it, or maybe you learn something. Now. Uh, first things first though, what's not going to be covered in the notices is they have announced that Final Fantasy X is coming back. We're going to get the Final Fantasy X rerun with Veil for a uh, new Esper and Vision card. Titus will be free. So for uh, I believe Titus is still going to be free on login. So if you don't have him yet, you're going to be getting him uh, on the first day for that you log in during the event. And, uh, yeah, and other than that, Titus, Yuna, and Orin are getting their Mastery 2s, I believe, and they're just getting buffs, um, new glasses for Orin, and, yeah, so there's just gonna be a lot going. We'll get more into the Final Fantasy X news, like, when it comes. It's not coming this week. It'll be, I don't know if it's the following week or what, but I'll definitely cover that in full, uh, when that is coming out. Now, for this week, we are... Uh, getting Sweetheart Ildira. She's a fire unit, 90 cost. Um, she has two slashing jobs, Operative and Strider, and a Ranger job. So she's going to work great with your fire slashing units like King Mont or Rain, for example. And she'll also be able to chain with your range units like Satya and Luartha. And there's other fire units, obviously, that will work really well with her. I think it's funny that she's fire when the other Ildira is water, so they're kind of like... Hmm. Roar. Anyways, uh, so one thing that I really want to note about her attacks here, in her main job, she has this three hit move. So she can use this three times. It's got a decent range on it and it's a bit AoE. But for PvE players, you can really use this uh, for chaining, fire chains. This will be great for building fire chains in any missions where you're trying to build like a high score and stuff like that. So this is great. It is what it is, it's just a three hit move, and yeah, for PvP now, I don't really know if people are running too much fire, because water is so, so strong at the moment, but for PvE, this character could be a solid acquisition. I am unsure if I'm going to pull, she's 90 cost and not limited, so I might not pull, but I might pull. Actually, there's a good chance I'll do at least some pulls, maybe like a 9 step, maybe like a 300 paid ticket, or whatever the case is, um, but... I probably won't go to ham, but come to my Twitch stream on Wednesday morning and uh, and maybe check out those polls or whatever polls I do, I'll upload them to the channel here. Now there's going to be a bingo board for her, of, of course, and yeah, double up JP in the Chocobo Expeditions and stuff like that, so as all new units get. Now there's going to be the Chocolate Festival, this is also uh, the Chocolate Pudding thing, but there's going to be 2100 Vizior in here, two tickets to potentially pull her. If you do want to skip, you'll still have at least a couple of pulls in there. And then, uh, yeah, and just shards for her. So that's cool. Story, EXP, double up campaign. So yeah, I don't know. She's she's pretty neat. Far plane, um, archive and more. So for the archive stuff, we are now getting the story events that I thought we were getting when the archive initially dropped, but we didn't actually get it. We're getting this now. We do have a lot of weapons in there. The archive thing is such an amazing asset to newer players or people that might have missed a weapon or maybe people just wanted to farm another of a weapon. Um, but this time we're getting the story quest versions of those things. So like the Etre, um, Silma, Crazy, whatever, Tyrell, all of those quests should be permanently selectable in here now. So if you're newer and you miss them, or maybe you want them for like a selection quest or something, um, they're going to be available there now forever. That all, With that also comes the Silma training challenge mission, bingo board. Um, there's going to be this ninja blade available to farm this week. And yeah, that's the books. Let's see, arena and free match. This is going to be water resistance up, fire attack up. So this is going to be, you know, a uh, arena map for Ildira. Because she is fire. Um, new features and updates. Let's see. Oh yeah, so this is going to improve certain jobs for abilities like dex, luck, and agility. There's a lot of jobs and a lot of characters in here. It's too much to go over in this video, but just know they're going to get some kind of buff. Um, high rank, league level. Okay, so for guild battles... They're going to add more ranks and leagues to guild battles now. So I know a lot of you guys out there, a lot of people in this game base their entire account, their entire, like, everything they build in this game or 
like or whatever is based off guild battles. So for those of you guys that are in that boat, um, guild battles are getting more leagues and more ranks. There are probably like way too many people are legends right now, so let's add more stuff to do with guild battles. So there is going to be new leagues, and uh, which comes with rewards too, so that's a good thing, because even if you're on the lower end, you're still going to be getting more stuff for your guild battles now, which don't really give that much, although they did add recently gill and, and uh, turtles or pots and stuff for uh, guild battles. So, but yeah, so there's a limited guild battle coming up, and what I want to show about this limited guild battle coming up this week, sorry I'm talking so fast, I'm just trying to get through without making this video 30 minutes long because there's a lot of news today. Anyways, Guild Battle Supremacy is coming up. So this Guild Battle, this limited Guild Battle here is going to determine your ranking for Guild Battle Supremacy. So the better you do in this, the more, I don't know, uh, basically just for Guild Battle Supremacy, uh, it's going to determine what bracket you're in and stuff like that. Now, Courage is going to be nullified in this limited Guild Battle. I believe that's it. Yes. So that is, that is all. Quick Pick Match coming back. Quick Pick Match is a lot of people's absolute favorite game mode since the game came out. People love this. I am not a big PvPer, so for me it's not my absolute favorite. But I do appreciate how cool it is. Um, but Quick Pick Match is going to be active. And for the map on this one, Evocation Gauge... Acquisition up 50% and quicken haste nullify. So bring in your summoners, I guess. I don't know. Um, and yeah, the quick pick match, that's going to be a thing. We're getting plus six equipment, okay? Okay? Plus six equipment is huge. It's a big update. Now, plus six equipment, when you when you, if it comes to PvP, it's going to help you. You're going to probably need it for PvP, but you're also going to feel it coming at you. So it's going to make it harder on both sides of the house because you're going to be attacking with it but you're going to have to defend against it as well. So keep that in mind. But for PvE, on the other hand, this stuff is going to be great because it's going to allow us to just steamroll some of that older content. Maybe there was a nightmare mission you couldn't beat before. Well, now with plus six equipment, trust stones, subvision cards, and whatever other kind of buffs we got, this stuff is... You're probably going to be able to auto some of those nightmare quests now that you couldn't beat in the past. Um... Or like tower, this kind of thing just helps so much for things like that uh, when it comes to PvE. Like I said though, for PvP, since they're going to be using it against you, it's just going to kind of cancel each other out. But still good, and you're going to need it, uh, probably for PvP, if you want to compete. But um, yeah, for PvE, it's going to be just, it's going to make you into a, a steamroller. Alright, now, the Raid Boss Revival. Raid Boss Revival. This is the Pudding Boss. I'm not sure we ever had this guy. This was the first raid we ever had. And I don't know if we ever had a rerun of it. We probably did. But I don't know for sure. Um, but this is the one where Lucia came out. And you know what? I'm actually surprised thinking about Lucia right now. I'm surprised there's never been like a second Lucia unit. Like Summer Lucia or something like that. But uh, yeah. So there's going to be a bunch of these free vision cards that we got from previous raids. Their missions will all be back, including their nightmare missions. Maybe you'll be able to auto them now. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so the raid revivals are always pretty cool. This is going to be chocolate flan, flan, flan. And uh, these mog shops, they just have good stuff in them. So this will be a good thing to farm on the side or whatever when you're done farming the ninja katana. If you even want that, maybe you just want to farm raid revival. I don't know. But yeah. So that is that stuff. Oh, we didn't go over the front line yet. All right, so we're getting the JP transfer. That's amazing. Okay, so you can move JP from one character or from multiple characters to another if you need to like build someone real quick and you have somebody sitting there with like 500k JP and you're like, what the heck? I don't need all this on this guy. I want to put it on this guy. Well, you can now. Um, trust stone UR changes. Players will be able to immediately dismantle and reforge trust stones. That is is one of the biggest quality of lives we've got since the ability to craft a full plus five with the slider. When you had to do that stuff manually, that was the worst. But this is huge. This is very big, very good. And I think a lot of people were even holding off on doing a lot of trust stone stuff until we got this just because it's so much work compared to when you have this. Um, but yeah, so it's there's just a bunch of quality of lives for trust stones here. It's going to be great. If you haven't really looked into Trust Stones, it will be great to do now. Um, special quests have random maps and enemies are being prepared. With every attempt, you will have a different experience and you will need to change your strategy. I have no idea what this is. 
That is very intriguing to me. Sounds like PvE, which I love. So this is very intriguing, and uh, I don't really know what it is. But I'm excited for it. Hopefully it's cool. And if you guys do know what it is, let me know in the comments, because I have no clue. Uh, Guild Battle Proxy. Okay, so now this is kind of lame. It's cool. It sounds cool, but it's not as cool as it sounds. This basically makes it so that, like, if you have a player that's about to no swing or not attack in a guild battle, um, your officers or leaders will be able to swing for them. But the reason it's not as cool as it sounds is because they have to log on at some point during that time anyways and send the request for you to attack with them in the first place. So that means they logged in anyways. So if they're, they're no swinging, I feel like it's usually because they forget to log in or something. So this isn't really going to help a ton in that sense. This will help sometimes though if someone's like, yo man, I'm really drunk and I don't think I'm going to be awake still when guild battles come around. Do you want to swing? And then you'll be like, yeah, we'll do it for you. But uh, I think a lot of the times people no swing just because they just completely, it blows their, or skips their mind or whatever. And so I don't know if this will so much help there. It will help in certain situations, but not in all. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's the bulk of that stuff. We're getting a bunch of free Hiroki gifts, too. I mean, 2000 Vizior is awesome. Maybe I'll put that towards uh, Fire Ildira and all this other stuff. One thing to note is uh, I don't see any energy pots in here. And you know what it is? This is my take, okay? Here comes the drama. I think there's no energy pots in here because of that huge compensation they gave us like a week ago where most people got like, I don't know, anywhere from like 50 to like 150 energy pots. And they're probably like, wow, we need to cancel this out. We just loaded these guys up with energy pots. So we're not going to give them energy pots for a while for free. And that's why they're not in here. Either that or maybe they just forgot. But this is like the first time we ever got a Hiroki gift that's not full of energy pots. So uh, just take that for what it is, I guess. But I do think it's probably because of that huge energy pot compensation we got. So it's compensation, but they're going to kind of balance it out by probably not giving us free energy pots for a while. Because um, they know a lot of people have a huge stockpile because of that. Uh, anyways, I think that's the bulk of it. Again, we have Final Fantasy X on the horizon. It's coming up. Keep that in mind if you're a big FF10 fan. Yuna, anyone that started playing after Yuna and you didn't get her... Oh my god, Yuna is such a good unit. And she's getting buffed, so she's probably going to be even better. Even now, like, she still holds up. Um, and there's been a lot of Nightmare Quests, for example, that I'll just take a unit in there, and she'll completely be the reason why I win. She might not be the reason why I complete every mission, but she'll definitely hard carry, like, the heals and even AoE damages and stuff. If you have to kill multiple units at once, sometimes she can do that. Anyways, this is going on way, way, way longer than I initially wanted it to. That's why I was talking, like, a friggin' Micro Machines maniac in here. But let me know uh, what you guys think about this update. I do think it's going to be a chill week in terms of farming and a vintage, which is good. There's going to be a limited guild battle, though. Um, and yeah. So, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you watch this far, I applaud you because I feel like most people probably don't watch this far. Um, so thank you for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my takes on this week's War of the Vision stuff. And again, I will be live on Wednesday morning um, with some War of the Visions action with whatever new content we have in the game. And I'll probably do, I will definitely do at least a few pulls. I'm not going to guarantee going to pity or anything like that. So... Maybe I'll end up walking away just buying tokens, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. And, um, yeah. Anyways, I guess that's all I got. So, have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Blah, 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 blah.